Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add page numbers to your Microsoft Word document. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Word. I'm using Office 365. I'm going to click on blank document. So let's just say you've got a document, it may have 1, 2, 10, 20 pages, it doesn't really matter. But the main thing to note is that in this top section, you see this little grey section here? This is called the header and you've got another grey section down here called the footer. So normally page numbers are in the footer, sometimes they're in the header. But in this example, we're going to put them in, into the footer. Before I do that, I just want to call this, um, let's just give these pages a, a little bit of information. So let's just call this first page here. And then we're going to go to insert, um, insert page break. So this will be another page and we'll call this page, uh, let's just call this um, second page and put two there and then we do insert page break third page I'm just labeling out these pages it just makes it a little bit easier to understand and then we just do one more and we call this um, fourth page Okay, so we've got four pages here and we want to add page numbers. So these are not page numbers. These are just titles. Imagine if these were titles inside a document with some headers or whatever they might be. But what we want to do is go down to the footer here and double click with our left mouse button. So when we double click, we go into the footer section. So now we're editing the footer, not the document, but the footer part here. And we're going to go to insert. When we click insert, we want to go to uh, page numbers, right? So let's see, where is it gone? page numbers here. So when we click that, it says top of page. Do you want to put the page number at the top? Do you want to put it at the bottom? Do you want to put it in some sort of margin or in the current position? Because we know that we want to put the page number in the current position, we can just select this option. You could do bottom of page and then it will place it in the bottom of the page, but I think it's better to select exactly where you want it and then do current position and we'll just do plain number. So when we click that, we see a plain number here. Now, right, page one, two, and then we see page three and four. So the page numbers are done. We can select this page number and change its formatting. So we can go back to home and we can increase the size of it. So if we want a bigger page number, we can put make a bigger page number here. We can center it, right align it. Maybe we'll have it in the center. We can change its color. You can change its background as well. So you can do lots of different things in here to reflect the, um, the color. But let's say, uh, let's say for now we will select this text. It's red at the moment. We can then right click on it and go to pay format page numbers click here and in this drop down you've got some different options of the paging that you want so you can use like uh, roman numerals you can use alphabetical you can use just straight numbers or you can use these hyphenated ones so if i click here it will basically so i'm selecting the second option in the drop down and click ok and then all of the page numbers will have these little hyphens on each side so you can see that page one two three four so that's how you can quickly and simply add page numbers to a Microsoft Word document. You can use, also use that same logic by double clicking at the top and you could maybe write a line. You can insert a page number here if you wanted, but there's no point in me doing that because we've also got a page number in the footer here. So I'll be doing some more in-depth Microsoft Word tutorials. I'll be doing some quite detailed tutorials on how to use Microsoft um, Word to lay out specific types of different types of documents. Um, so we'll look at some more complex documents in a later tutorial. Today, all I wanted to show you is how to add page numbers because someone on um, YouTube wrote a message to me asking me how to show them how to do that. So I thought I'd show that in a video rather than explaining it to one person, I might as explain it to many. So that's how you do page numbers in a Microsoft Word document. Let's close that down. I don't really want to save this. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.